This is a festival that is hosted by Contraband Days, Inc. in the city of Lake Charles. This festival is a two-week festival, the two weeks before Mother's Day, and it is designed to promote tourism and attract people to the Lake Charles area. What we're doing this year is we are hosting this festival and we start by getting the Buccaneers to come in and raid our city. As you can tell, we take over this city. Contraband Days has a festival where we have our floats, they go around, we take our mayors, and we actually put them in the lake. The reason we do this reenactment, John Lafitte has been known to have traveled in these areas in the past. It's just shallow lake and shallow river at the time, so the United States government couldn't come on in. So uh, there's known to be a buried treasure on Contraband Bayou, and uh, he's come in with that, and we've been doing that for 50 years for the Buccaneers. As a matter of fact, a lot of the things around Lake Charles are centered around Jean Lafitte. The bridge itself, that's in the Guinness World Book of Records, is the most ornamental crossed pirate pistols in the world on that structure right over there. Uh, Contraband Bayou was named after that legend. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that ties into that. The legend has it that he did come up Contraband Bayou and dumped all his uh, gold in a cannon out there. It's supposed to still be buried today. Nobody's ever found it. So, and that's where the Buccaneers came into being. What we're doing today, you hear the gunfire in the background, that's the battle for the city of Lake Charles. The Buccaneers come in this time of year, every year sail up. We take over the city for two weeks and we make any official we can get our hands on walk the plank in the lake. The festival consists of several different events and attractions. We have sea lions on our first weekend and in the second weekend we have a tight wire pirate high rope act. We also have several other events that will happen throughout the area. We'll have the car show that will be sponsored by O'Reilly's. We have our Malibu stage that is obviously sponsored by Malibu Rum. And we have several different acts that include country, soul, zydeco, and cajun. Along with those events, we have a carnival that is uh, done by Todd Armstrong. And that carnival consists of probably 20 to 30 different rides along with vendors. We also have vendors that come out as well that sell their wares that some have pirate attire and some have airbrush. We also have our food vendors. This thing started in 1966. It started out as a group of businessmen got together to promote tourism here in southwest Louisiana. It started from a small group of people. The first festival actually was just a ski show out here on the lake. As a matter of fact, one of our board members, uh, Charlie Weeks, has been on, was a on, member of that ski club that skied for us. So we've, uh, we've been doing several things like that and it's just progressed. The Buccaneers came into effect a few years later. It's just progressed to this right here. We're right now we're the second biggest festival in the state of Louisiana. The only thing bigger than us is Mardi Gras in, in New Orleans. It went from a weekend ski show to a ten, a, basically a 10-day festival is what it is today. This festival has a 50-year history. It is one of the oldest festivals. It is named as one of the top 100 festivals in the country. And it's just been recently named as a top 20 event in the southeastern United States. The Buccaneers themselves are uh, I guess Southwest Louisiana ambassadors. Any convention comes to town, the Tourist Bureau calls a, a gentleman that we call our reenactment chairman. And he, he's got a, what they call a raid committee that will go out with them and greet visitors to the city and things like that. It, it's, it's something new every year. And I'd like to see the whole state come down here and get a, get a little sample of this. It's a great festival and we enjoy putting it on. 